Hi, I'm Chad with Terrapo Organics, and today we're gonna go over what to do with dead and browning plants in the winter time. Let's get right into the video. January and February are the coldest months in Florida and we can have freezes. Then those freezes can do damage to the shrubs and the lawn. But with these tips here today, what I'm gonna help you do is protect your plants and help them recover in the springtime because that's the most important thing you can do to get your plants back. Now what you can do is make sure before a freeze that the soil is wet. Now not the plants or the plant leaves wet, we want the soil to be wet. When things are wet, they have a lower freezing temperature and will help protect the roots. Now, this also works for after the freeze. So after the freeze is done, you can come out and just stick your finger in the soil, check the soil. If the soil is dry, give it some water because that cool air can dry out the soil or the soil can be frozen. And so by giving it water, it'll help the soil defrost or it'll help give moisture back to the soil from being dried out from all that cold weather. Next, we'll be going about fertilizer. So see these nasty dead plants? Look at all this brown in here. We don't want that. Let's throw some fertilizer on and get some growth. No, wrong. One of the worst things you can do is what can happen is, is that new growth, you're, you're gonna be stealing some of the plant's energy to help it to recover, and it's gonna start focusing on new growth. And also, if more cold temperatures come back in, that new growth will get fried back, and the plant will lose a lot of its energy and take even longer to recover and possibly kill it. So don't fertilize. Be patient. Enjoy your brown plants for the winter. Look, it's Florida. Everything's green. You've always wanted color in your yard. Now you have it, but it's brown. Enjoy it through the winter. When springtime comes back, that's when it's time to give it nutrients again. Now here, this one's one of the biggest questions we get, pruning. What should I do about all this dead and brown growth? And believe it or not, that's actually a very simple answer. And that's gonna be, don't prune. You don't cut or prune anything during the winter. You leave this dead on here, okay? Because there's, there's two major reasons why. One is it helps to insulate the rest of the plant. Because if you pull away, there's a lot of live actually underneath in this plant. And so this outer, this outer brown and dead looking may not look good, but it is keeping the, the plant in the nice tender growth nice and insulated. Now also, there still is nutrients in these leaves here. So they still have a nutritional value to the plant. So we definitely want to keep those on there because we don't need to stress the plant any more than we have to. So leave the brown. Now the next thing is probably is, well, what about if the plant's dead? How do I know? Like something like this. Now that whole plant's brown. It could all be dead. So what you're going to do is number one, not worry about it right now. Number two, when spring comes back around, take a, uh, you don't have to actually tear it off, but you can keep it on the plant and you take your, your thumbnail and you scrape on the outer layer of the branch. And if it's wet and green underneath, that means it's still alive and it will recover. If it's very dry and brown underneath, I know this is a dead piece, so I know this one's dead, but as you can see, there's no green in there, no moisture, very brown and dry. This is very brittle when it cracks. This one's obviously dead, but that's how you'll know. Brown, brittle, cracking, dead, green, moist, alive. And again, you'll be doing that in the springtime. There's no point of doing that immediately after a freeze. Now there are plants like hibiscus and impatience, more annuals, perennials, uh, more of the flowering plants will most likely die. And it's called complete cold collapse. And that's a very common thing that can happen. And they'll be totally dead down to the core. Now again, wait till springtime and check them. If they are dead, the best thing to do is remove them to avoid them from getting fungusy and nasty and gross um, and to replace them. But when you get full collapse of a flowering plant, that's usually not good news. Check it anyways. And if it's dead, rip it out immediately to avoid funguses and bacteria from growing. Now, once springtime happens, we're far away from freezes. Now, we want to make sure there's no freeze even close by. That's when you can prune. Remember, you do your thumb test, you check if the plant's alive, and then you prune what's dead, get that off of there, and get and then prune it to the shape that you want or prefer. Because like a lot of this is just dead leaves. So maybe something like a this was this was covered, a covered croton, where if I go and scrape and I see that most of these branches are alive, then what I'm just gonna do is maybe shake off the dead leaves or pick off the dead leaves and not prune it too much. 
where something like this, let's say the whole top half of this is brown, but the bottom is green. The top half is dyed from the freeze. Every you might have to do is everything from where it's brown, you might have to chop every everything off the top of here and flatten it out, and that way you can promote some new growth. Again, be very patient on these things. You do them too early, you can take a plant that will recover to not recovering or taking even longer to recover. Now that should cover most plants. It's three major things, and it's gonna be wet soil, so water, no fertilizer, till springtime, and then no pruning. Put those pruners away, keep them out of your hands. I know staring at this at your front office window is killing you, but you're just gonna have to live with it. The lawn is off limits for the winter time. Your lawn's hibernating, so should you. So then we go to the lawn. I have a whole video about the yard, so if you wanna know more information about the lawn, go check this out. But a quick rundown is the lawn is very, very similar. Don't cut, keep the soil wet, and your lawn's gonna be brown. Don't go rake out all the brown grass or do anything. Leave it alone. You don't have to mow it away. You don't have to rake it up or anything. Keep your soil wet, keep traffic off the grass, and do nothing till spring. No fertilizer, anything. Let the lawn recover, relax. I'm Chad with Turf Organics, and this has been what to do with your brown and dead plants during the winter time. If any of this helped you, please feel free to like and subscribe. That means I'm making good videos and these videos are helping people. So I really like to see that. It means the world to me. That's the best possible feedback you can give, give to me is liking, subscribing, and even leaving a comment to let me know how I'm doing or ask a question. So thank you so much for watching the video. And I hope everyone has a great rest of your day. Thank you.